You want to know what a generational curse looks like? Let me explain something to you. So my mother and her mother had a very distant relationship. As my mother got older, her and her mother, um, I've never seen them be affectionate towards each other. I've never really seen any mother-daughter hugs. Um, my grandmother had a very distant relationship with her mother. From what I understood, they were very, um, you know, estranged. As I got older, I was raised by my grandparents. Me and my mother, I can count on one hand how many times me and her hugged or were affectionate with each other. So as I began to have children of my own, I have three girls, right? And I remember one day I was sitting in the living room and I was crying. I was uh, going through something real bad and you know, I, I, I remember yelling out, nobody loves me. I keep trying to give my love to people. No one loves me. Why won't anybody love me, right? And so my daughter, my oldest daughter, she was like seven at the time. And she comes and she tries to hug me in the middle of my emotions. I go, Symphony, not right now. Just give mommy a moment. And she says, but mommy, I love you. And it stopped me in my tracks and it struck me, you know, so deep to my core. And I looked at her and I said, huh? And she said, I love you, mom. And I hugged her and I just cried and she cried. And once we were done, she said, mommy, why is it when I try to hug you, you don't hug me back? And I said, what do you mean? And then I started to think back on the times where she would hug me and I would just kind of sit there and I didn't know how to accept the, the warm or the embracement from my child, right? Because I had never received it from my own and mine had never received it from hers and so forth and so on. Now, every moment that I get, this kid now tells me I hug her too much because what I realized is I wish someone had caught it when I was seven years old and I was begging to be loved and I was begging to be held and I was begging for attention and nobody gave it to me. That curse had to stop here with me and mine. I didn't want to see my daughter get older and have girls of her own and not know how to show love to them. These generational curses stop with us. We can't be like our parents and we can't be like our grandparents. And if you come from a great home, God bless. But for some of us, it's a curse that keeps living. Let's not create more bitter humans.